So you wanted to get started with the fascinating more of the artificial intelligence art creation by learning how to generate images with ChatGPT. I'm going to show you how to get started. First of all, if you wanted to do this totally for free and you don't want to pay absolutely for anything, the actual ChatGPT Plus, it might be really hard for people who don't have actual budget because ChatGPT Plus uh, cost us the upgrade for the actual Plus might be costing a little bit, uh, let's say, I believe the $14 per month. Now, if you don't have this budget and you still want to try ChatGPT 4, then I can totally suggest you to go into Copilot. Copilot is an amazing section where you can all get started by actually just signing with your Microsoft account and having access to ChatGPT 4. The way Copilot works, it's exactly the same that ChatGPT. Here's the part where you wanted to initiate the conversation. Once you are into ChatGPT, Plus interface or co-palette, you can initiate a conversation by typing a prompt to describe the image you'd like to generate. Be as detailed or as abstract as you would like to. Let's go to hit here and just type create A. And what you want to do is to type the subject and action and the background. For example, create a bee flying through the road at sunset and the style of Bangkok. And I hit into send. Copilot or ChatGPT is actually going to be responding to the prompt by generating text-based description of the image based on the information that you have provided. You can continue the conversation to refine the detail or provide additional instructions. So wait till you have the actual response of what you have here, and then later on you can try it out with something different. Let's say for example that actually this looks great. So if you kind of like what you're seeing here, let's say for example that you want to now now make that the B is holds a balloon, holds a raid balloon. So the possibilities are endlessly here. This is the part where you wanted to review the generated text. So as ChatGPT generates text description of the image, review the output to see if this aligns with your business. You can ask for your business or provide further guidance for the ChatGPT if needed. Now, once you're satisfied with the text description, you can use the text to image conversion tool or the service to generate the image based on the text output for the ChatGPT. And there you have it. We can review the generated image and make any necessary fragments of the adjustments. You can iterate on the process by providing new prompts or tweaking the existing ones to achieve your desired results. For example, this actual prompt generated me somebody in the road and an actual car. So I can go back and I can tell ChatGPT to delete anyone who is on the roads. I just wanted to see the V with a balloon. And ChatGPT told me, I have removed any other elements from the scene, leaving only the bee with its red balloon against the backdrop of the sunset it wrote. Now, sometimes this might be not accurate, sometimes this is not perfect, of course, but while you're actually improving, you might be seeing that sometimes it looks better than the than before, of course, and what you can do is to try to make something different each time that you hit make the generation of an actual prompt. So far, I believe like the best image that I have received here is like the first one. It actually doesn't look that bad. bad. Once you're happy with your final image, you can save it to your device and share it with the others to showcase your artificial intelligence art created. Hit now into download and here you have it already been added into your actual website. Now the last solution that I can give you just in case you don't know how to get started is by opening a new tab and look out for the same rush blocks. Now this application, this website, this blogging section has a lot of prompts, has a lot of resources and features that can be helping you to improve your lifestyle and a lot of stuff, for example, ChatGPT. This section can be helping you to find out prompts and how you can write your own prompts. So it's going to be helping you to improve your prompts and to make the ChatGPT understand a little bit more what you're actually looking when it comes to creating a specific image. And well guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools on how we can get started here inside ChatGPT, Copilot, and so much more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Stay tuned for more exciting content from only media. Until next time.